Thank you for your interest in Scythe. Today we'll be walking through the version 3.2 release of the Scythe platform, and the new features included. The first feature is the Key Store, which allows for the import and use of certificates to sign Scythe payloads. These allow you to deploy the Scythe payloads in more meaningful ways, especially in signed or secured environments. We've also rolled out the Client Host Utility, which allows you to deploy any number of Scythe campaigns from a single executable, which can also be signed. This is driven by the Reflective Loader DLL versions of the Scythe payloads. We've also reorganized the payload download features so that you can more easily download these different payloads, including with the embedded signature mode, brought to you by the Key Store. Also new in Scythe is the ability to tag a given threat from the threat catalog and have it appear in the Scythe automation user interface. Simply open the threat catalog, select the tag button, and choose the MITRE ATT&CK ID tags you want to associate a given threat with. Once a threat is associated with a given tag, you can jump over to the Scythe automation interface and under the Compound Actions, MITRE ATT&CK Techniques button, all of the tagged threats will show up under the given exercises, right alongside the existing Atomic Red Team exercises. Selecting an exercise brings all the automation for that threat right into the user interface as an added convenience for your operators. We've also added the NIST 800 Attack Navigator JSON report. Similar to our existing Attack Navigator JSON export, we can now click one button and get an alignment not only of what your Scythe campaign did from a MITRE ATT&CK perspective, but also if any of those things align to NIST 800. And of course, that can be imported right into the MITRE ATT&CK navigator. Finally, we've also brought single sign-on using the OpenID Connect standard into Scythe. Thank you for your time and for your interest in Scythe.